Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Imagine what if each day you live brings you one step closer to a journey through the beautiful teachings of Islam. By embracing the wisdom of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in your daily actions, we're going to explore seven simple but powerful routines. These routines can transform your life, bringing you closer to Allah's favor and mercy. The habits we're going to talk about in this video can make a big difference in your life. Whether you want to feel more connected to your beliefs, improve your overall health, or get advice on how to bring Islamic teachings into your daily routine, these habits offer a practical and meaningful guide. By the end of this video, you'll have practical and spiritually enriching habits to include in your daily life. Now, let's start this journey of personal and spiritual growth together. Habit number one, offering prayer. Praying Al-Fajr and thinking in the morning. Al-Fajr prayer done before sunrise is not just something you have to do in Islam. It's a strong habit that starts your day well. It shows a spiritual wake up, moving from night to day and rest to action. Doing Fajr prayer helps you begin your day with focus and a spiritual connection, aligning with your faith and intentions for the day. After Fajr prayer, Taking a moment to think can make it even more helpful. This is a time for looking inside yourself, planning your day, or just remembering Allah. Thinking in the morning helps you stay grounded, be thankful, and set a purposeful and positive mindset for the day. It was also narrated by Jundub bin Abdullah, who reported that the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, when anyone offers the Al-Fajr prayer in congregation, he is in the protection of Allah. So let not Allah call him to account, withdrawing in any respect his protection. Because he will get hold of him and throw him down on his face in the hellfire. It means adding the Al-Fajr prayer and morning reflection to your daily routine is a meaningful way to take care of your spiritual well-being, discipline, and concentration. Habit number two, reciting Quran. Alladheena amanu wa tatma'innu qulubuhum bi dhikrillah Ala bi dhikrillahi tatma'innu al-qulub Alladheena amanu wa amiru al-salihati tuba lahum Reading or listening to the Quran every day is a way to make your faith stronger and feel closer to God. It's not just about reading or listening, it's about thinking about what the verses mean. Even reading a few verses each day can make a big difference, helping you understand and use the teachings in your daily life. If you're busy or find it hard to read, Listening to the Qur'an can also be a spiritual and enlightening experience. It was also narrated by Aisha that the Prophet wasallam said, Such a person who recites the Qur'an and masters it by heart will be with the noble righteous scribes in heaven. And such a person who forces himself to learn the Qur'an by heart and recites it with great difficulty will have a double reward. Making the Qur'an a part of your daily routine helps you stay focused on your faith and gives you guidance for your daily actions. This habit is a way to keep learning and growing spiritually, creating a stronger connection with God. It's a practice that makes your life better, gives you comfort, and reminds you to live by Islamic values every day. Habit number three, adding mindfulness to activities. You should add mindfulness to your everyday activities by paying full attention and getting involved in what you're doing, whether it's eating, working, talking, or resting. It's about doing each task with complete focus and purpose, understanding that every moment is a chance to connect with and serve Allah. This practice involves slowing down, taking time to appreciate the blessings in each activity, and recognizing opportunities to show gratitude and patience. It's about finding the special in the ordinary and realizing that even simple tasks can be acts of worship if done with the right intention. By making mindfulness a part of your daily routine, you can continuously remember Allah, 
Keeping your thoughts and actions in line with Islamic teachings, this not only improves your spiritual well-being, but also enhances your mental focus, reduces stress, and brings a greater sense of peace and contentment to your everyday life. Hibbit number four, doing dhikr of Allah. Adding moments of remembrance, dhikr, in the middle of your day is like taking a spiritual break. It's a time to reconnect with your faith while dealing with your daily tasks. You can spend a few minutes quietly reflecting, saying phrases or prayers that praise Allah, ask for forgiveness, or seek guidance. It doesn't have to take a long time. Even a few minutes can make a big difference. You can simply repeat phrases like, SubhanAllah, Glory be to Allah, Alhamdulillah, All praises due to Allah, or Allahu Akbar, Allah is the greatest. This practice helps clear your mind, reduce stress, and bring a sense of peace to your day. Doing this regularly strengthens your connection to your faith, keeping your thoughts and actions in line with Islamic values. Habit number five, giving charity. Regularly doing kind and helpful things is important. This can involve various actions, not just giving money. It might be as simple as lending a hand, saying nice words, volunteering for a good cause, or smiling at someone. In Islam, these actions are significant and help create a caring community. This habit is about paying attention to others' needs and responding generously and empathetically. It's also recognizing that charity isn't just about giving things. It includes any action that brings benefit or happiness to others. Doing these acts regularly helps you feel grateful and content in your own life. It reminds you to be humble, appreciate what you have, and share with those who have less. This practice directly reflects Islamic teachings, encouraging Muslims to spread goodwill and support each other, building a strong, united community. Habit number six, trying to learn new things. Always try to learn new things. Spend some time every day or regularly to learn about your faith, the world, or anything you're interested in. In Islam, education and gaining knowledge are really important. It's seen as a way to get closer to Allah, understand His creation better, and make good decisions in life. You can do this in different ways, like reading Islamic texts, going to lectures, listening to educational podcasts, or talking to knowledgeable people. The goal is to expand your understanding, strengthen your faith, and use your knowledge to help yourself and others. In Islam, the pursuit of knowledge isn't just about religion. It includes any useful knowledge that can help you grow personally, develop your community, and understand the world better. Habit number seven, living a healthy life. Living a healthy life following the example set by Prophet Muhammad وسلم, involves a few key things. It means eating well, not too much or too little, exercising regularly, and making sure you get enough rest and sleep. Prophet Muhammad's practices, like eating dates and honey and staying active, serve as a guide for a healthy lifestyle. You can adopt some of these habits into your daily routine, like eating nutritious foods, staying hydrated, doing simple exercises, and ensuring you get enough rest. These actions don't just benefit your body, but also positively impact your mental and emotional well-being. Following the Sunnah for physical wellness is not only about personal health, but also about being a good example for others it reflects the Islamic principle of balance, recognizing that a healthy body is crucial for a healthy mind and spirit. Habit number eight, thinking about your whole day. Taking time in the evening to think about your day and say thanks is important in Islam. Gratitude, called shukr, is a big part of worship and helps you feel content and positive. When you reflect in the evening, you recognize what happened during the day, learn from it, and see how Allah has blessed you. It's all about appreciating both the small and big good things in life and realizing Allah's guidance in your daily life. Doing this evening routine not only makes your faith stronger, but also calms your mind, helping you relax and sleep better. It brings a sense of peace and well-being, reminding you of the bigger picture and Allah's continuous presence and support in your life. Thanks for being with us on this learning journey. 
these habits can help you get closer to Allah and guide you through the ups and downs of the coming year with grace and wisdom.